Hello YouTube fans! Sorry I've been away for a bit, but I've been busy. Still waiting for the sop and so on. But people are always wondering, Pete, you sound like you like Sai, you sound like you like Arne, and that's what I do. So why not? Petito. As you know, I'm also an Arnie fan, and it was one of them. Am I a Petito man, or am I a retail man? It's an hard one to choose, because as you know, this one is a tassic. But I remember the days when, the golden days of video, when I saw this under AIDS and I saw it, Petito. And what can I say? I loved it. Arnie with his one, one line, ritty liners, so when his biceps off. And let's not forget. And don't forget the die from Rocky films. That's right, Riverspoon. I can mouse his name right. The amazing scene where they're having an arm wrestle and basically sewing off their fucking biceps. That's the Arnie when he was in his 30s, which I love. And I miss that Arnie. The Arnie with his ritty liners and his biceps. But yeah, I love Predator. I loved it when I was a kid and I still love it today. It's Arnie at his best. To me, I always look at Predator as a prequel to Tomando. Think about it. The movie Tomando with Arnold Schwarzenegger. If you saw it here, you see what I mean. Look at that. I remember the line makeup he had with his spiky hair. Then the Mad Tomando, the nation see me shooting everybody to fuck. Look at him there. To me, that's Bennett. That's fucking Bennett from fucking Demando. Different name, same character. Before it all happened, it could be why he left the war and why he decided to look after his kid. And you could say, this is why he left the war. Because this is what started it. What can you say what you never heard about Predator? You've got a dang of marine soldiers going to a jungle and looking for a double troop what went missing. You got action stars, bodybuilders, the lot. And it's fucking badass. You got Arnie in the air, the top top. There's a lot of history about Predator. A lot of history. And you've got them in the air, the top tops, and they're flying into the fucking jungle, and they're fucking badass. I just love the way the jungle was shot. It's all in a jungle. And there's a lot of history of Predator. I'll just get to it. I had a video game of Predator when it first came out. The original Predator game. And like I say, you've got a big amazing troop of armour. And you could say it's alien, but alien in a fucking jungle. Arna, with his troop of soldiers, going into the fucking jungle. And basically, they'll get wiped out. Now, when you first saw Predator back in 87, you got that amazing scene with the rock. Rocket, rocket, <laughs> UFO, firing a toss, that amazing store, and then you've got the music itself. <laughs> so I'm doing a shit job. But Predator, to me, is badass. And I love the way when you first saw it, you didn't know whether it was soldiers, whether it was EC, or, or it was the thing. You didn't get to see it until halfway through the film. Now as people already know, Van Dan, Don Ford Van Dan himself, he was the fucking Predator originally. He did the stunts, he did everything. Now, there's a lot of rumours that did he leave or did he on purpose get the sack? Because it was rough at the time when Bloodsport come out. We never know the story but you get the date die yourself, he became Predator in Predator 1 and 2. He also obeyed in Bigfoot and the Andersons. May he rest in peace. He was fucking awesome. Awesome. And he also had a disappearance as the die find the air doctor nearly at the end. If you saw the design of Predator, what it originally looked like, it looked like fucking shit. It was a little midget little thing running about. Would you really be threatened by that? So as it went on, decided to alter it. And they decided to make it more topical 
and more is sotty. The predator I love to see. The predator what kicks fucking ass. The comic books, you had it all. It was basically an alien in a fucking jungle. And it had to have been aliens what inspired it. This is Arne, I fucking miss. I love this. I also love the second Predator. Now that's a bit of input of the film. Again, it came out on Sty TV. This was the days when Sty, because I never used to hate Sty, I did use the light Sty before it went to the dogs. And this used to be sewn a lot, and I mean a fucking lot on Sty TV. And I used to watch it religiously. Then I got it on video. And then I'd made the mistake again it when it first came out on DVD. The first predator I got of this on DVD, Word of a Fice. Avoid it like a fucking STD because it will fuck you up the arse. When I first got Predator on DVD, it was cut to shit. And I mean cut to fucking shit. See this weight in here? Bear with me. Bear with me. See this weight in here? It might as well be rated fucking you when it first come out on DVD. Because that 18 ain't worth fucking shit. Me having a Richard is more or less rated. The scene when Anna bows a knife, when he takes that die on the wall when he says that one liner, stick around, cut out. The scene where the die gets his arm shot off, cut out. Bees about the scenes of people getting shot to fuck and the die's running about on fire when the helicopter gets blowing up, cut out. And that's not the first time they did that. Pair dotty, fucking me head. Demando was another one. What was cut to fucking pieces. Fuck, it was more cut than what it was when it was on terrestrial TV. Same as this. So when you first see the very early DVD with Arna, with the original logo, Predator, and it's in red light writing, word of a face, avoid it. Avoid it like a dang of fucking SDDs because it is a piece of shit. The one to go for, when I, which I had to get some more some there, was this version, which is a two disc, double disc version. This has everything. The first DVD I got, all it had was spec was fucking Taylor. Woohoo! I had a Taylor with the fucking do that. I could type up on YouTube now and type in Predator Taylor from 87, find the fucking Taylor. It's not exactly that exciting. I probably even find TV spots a lot. This, however, has the making, biotopher, two deleted scenes, which is the same here, there's one deleted scene I'd have loved to have had in the film, no one, yeah, but one deleted scene, it's just the same that weren't in the film, I'll tell it you, there's a scene where Predator is chasing a dad, chasing Arna, you see it in the film, but there's a lot more where it's chasing him, and it's literally fucking with him, it's playing with him, it's got lasers and it's toying with him and it's playing with him a bit, he could kill him at any time, but the predator is just fucking with him for the fucking fun of fucking with him. You've got outtakes, you've got a lot. It's a damn good DVD and it's in its uncut form. You know the first DVD of this when it come out because it is cut to pieces. This is the one to go for. Double disc, and it looking like that. Get this one. Avoid the first DVD. I wasted money on that shit and it was cut to fucking shit. Thank God I did not get rid of the original video because that was in its uncut form. But that's a bit of history there. But Star TV watched it. You've got the brilliant scene where Arne is falling off the waterfall. The scene what I just said where he sticks that die in the knife. Stick around. The scene with River Spoon, the die did Rocker in the Rocky films. You know, a borrowed teed himself, the scene where he gets his arm shot off. And I love the scene where they're arm wrestling. Where they're sewing their arms, sewing their biceps. Proper badass. And let's not forget the predator itself. It was tropical, it was exotic, and it was a surprising film. And it was a bid it for Arnie in 87. In 87, for Arnie was the best there. Because when you think about it, you had Predator, you had the Running Man. It was a good day in 87. You had the original Lethal Weapon. You had Baker Attackson. You had it all. 
and Predator to me was a good stepping stone. These are the films I miss Arnie in. Forget the 100,000 Exterminator films and him now being an old fart. This is the fucking Arnie I miss in his heyday. And like I say, to me this is a prequel. This here is a prequel to Tomando. The stipe makeup, the spiky hair. This is a fucking prequel to fucking Tomando. It's a prequel. Now I know in 88, Die Hard was originally going to be a sequel to, to, to Mando, but when you think about it, Predator is a prequel. This is Bennett. This is fucking Bennett in fucking Demando. See, put me brain then. This is Bennett. This is Bennett, right? Different name, but it's the same guy. And I love to see him. They've got the derv. She's Fiat Mies. They're dragging her about, and there's a scene where she just speaks English. All the way through the films, she's speaking whatever fucking, whatever the fuck she's speaking. And then she says, it's like it's a median. It changes its colour. And you've got an idea, this predator is a hunter. It hunts people. It stings people. It fucking rips people's spines. It definitely doesn't fuck around on the blood of door. The uncut version, that is. I know the first DVD. Stick to this one. And the picture torture is beautiful. Beautiful. Word of advice, stick to this DVD as well, because I had the Blu-ray and the picture quality is shit, it's fucking garbage, it's dark, it's tinted, it's bluer, it just looks like fucking shit. The DVD quality, even the fucking day when it was on Stife, the picture quality was beautiful, just beautiful. There's no faults in this. There's nothing I can boo ooh about it. The only thing I'm happy about is it actually had to a different design to the Predator. If you saw the first way it looked on the second disc, you will see what I mean. It looked like fucking shit. It looked like a little thing running about. You're going to take it fucking serious. And it was all in red. And again, the deleted scene where the Predator's fucking with Arne. Sadly, that's not in the film. You've got him tasting him, but there's a bit where it's pain with him and it's firing lasers. And Arnie says that line, it's pain with me. And he's got ants on his wound. I love the bit where she's looking at the comedian and all the dirt, which is another deleted scene. But I just love that scene. It's just the same we adding in the film. But it is what it is. But all in all, there's no faults in Predator. It's a dudden. It's too known today. There was a sequel. There was a lot of other ones, like the Asian versus Predators. Predator. During the days, there was one called The Predator. The original Predator is a tassic. This is Anna at his best. And I might even talk about the sequel, which in my eyes is an unestimated sequel. When I first thought of it, I thought, no, Anna. But then after giving it a shot, and people saying, no, it's done, it's done, it's done, give it a go. After watching it, I love Predator 2. I think Danny Duffer plays it dust is dud. It's not muscle pound. It's not down about like another Anna. It's its own fucking mover. I like the fact the Petter has more to do in it. It's in the street of news art. Yeah, it's based on the future, but it's over most films. But it's a dud one. Other than that, Petter is a classic. It's too known today. Still love it. It's still one of my favourite Arnie films for that. Simple. 10 star rating. Again, I might just talk about the second one. And again, you've got Bill Patterson. Are you my dear friend? Are you my sister? That's a classic. Other than that, everyone, have a dud one.